don't even understand the family dynamic. A house, a residence, and so they stopped at an open house. People are trying to sell their house because they, they can't afford, he lost his job and she has a job and it's not enough to pay for the house. So they, they're they having to sell it, they don't want to, but they are, they have an open house. So that means people can come in and go look around and you know talk to the realtor and then they leave, they take the realtor's card and then uh, anyway, he had to go to the bathroom. So they stopped at this open house so he could go to the bathroom. That's fine. And so the guy, he he didn't want to, They neither one wants to sell a house. But, you know, they're just resigned. And he was looking through his closet. He pulled out these dolls and the boy started snarking, making snarky comments. And so his mom comes to get him to take him wherever they're going. And she says, oh my God, I saw those on this uh, antique uh, show and that one is worth like 200 grand. And it was like these things that belonged to his grandma or something, these dolls and this actual one she pointed out was really ugly. So uh, I don't know what, he said something, the kid and the mom got pissed off and she said, well, I'm not taking you to McDonald's. And he said, and he got pissed off that she wouldn't take him. He's a spoiled fucking brat. <laughs> and um, so when nobody's looking, and he's looking at the doll, and everybody else is doing something, he steals it. He steals that man's property and takes it home. So, no, they are not uh, criminals. And I guess the, the bride's spot and all what I watched, I Buzz, he was played a cop, but we've seen this. I saw this in a trailer. He actually did a really good job. <laughs> and he actually talks about Kevin and him, him being alone, because it comes up later, you'll see. But I thought that was interesting, but I thought he did a really good job. And you could kind of recognize him, his voice and everything from when he was younger. So, so the, in other words, you the love kid, the movie. The kid is the bad person. And I, if they get in trouble, the and they, they did not use good judgment, <laughs> they, they, felt, they found out, because remember, oh, you don't see, but when she got mad at him in the house, she said his whole name. So these people looked up them. That's how they know where <laughs> they are staying. <laughs> So that's how that happens. But anyway, um, they did not use good judgment on getting the thing well, back. But that is not his property. That is their property, and what? he took it. What? And it's a two hundred thousand dollar item. <laughs> so uh, it is really anything stolen over fifty dollars is a fucking felony. <laughs> So the kid committed a fucking felony, so they're going to get in trouble. And, and she even... I'll even tell you this, because, I mean, things trash. She really tries to reason with him uh, in an adult way, and all he can do is hit her and, you know, all that stuff. They have overlapped craps from the other shows and the plan and all that into this show and it is not the same because the premise is completely the opposite it, it is not his property it is their property well, Safi, why wouldn't they take him to mcdonald's i i he said something he back talked her he, it's a jackass <laughs> spoiled brat kid and so the, he, the a, reason why I mean you like I, you like you like this fat little British kid. They, well, I this, you're just talking about his personal appearance. I'm talking yeah. about his fucking be, attitude. Be, because this is a reboot of Home Alone, and it's like, why is he fat and British all of a sudden? His name isn't uh, Kevin. It's still a reboot of the movie, so I it guess should they're technically calling it a reboot, be, aren't they? But it's not. Yeah. 
It's not. Because he's he's the hero of the movie. He's not a hero. Supposedly. He's a stupid fucking spoiled brat. <laughs> and so a after I found out he's, he stole that, and then he sets up the, you know, the elaborate plan, <laughs> bullshit. I'm thinking like, I'm, I'm so pissed off, I, I can hardly watch it. And I'm sitting here, I'm supposed to be doing other things, I want to get it out of the way and done. Oh. So I can be ahead. Now I'm behind again because I have to read a fucking book. And no, I have a million no. things to do. No, for today you just have to watch those two monk episodes and well, then I can rank do, them. do stuff. I've got to uh, list some stuff. Uh, but anyway, and I need to get that off the table. And uh, uh, at least one thing there is something I'm adding on to already have. But I can the see the one book, thing is done. The book, isn't, the book isn't that long. I if know. You, I'm just pissed you listen, off. <laughs> I'm not happy. They, if those people get in trouble. They did. Uh, I realize they should have said something to somebody, to the police, something that that kid. Yeah, wouldn't took that have been that. funny if they just told the police themselves? Well, I don't know why they didn't. I, they just, I don't know. They're just not <coughs> thinking right because they're so upset about having to sell their house. That's not an excuse though. But they, um, the kid committed a felony. And it's worth two hundred thousand dollars, and that will easy be easily be looked up, and it's on record. I mean, they have witnesses. Uh, I think uh, Keenan Thompson, he play, he's from Saturday Night Live. He plays a realtor. Uh, I think he saw, he had to have seen them and talked to him. He was there. I mean, there's witnesses that that kid was there. They have witnesses to uh, everything. Nobody saw him steal, but he has the thing. So, I mean, how to get it? They didn't give it to him. And uh, she, his mother, told that man that she saw that on that show and what it was worth. So, they have that, too. And then the fat kid just takes it and he eats it. I don't know why he took it. it. That's what I, I didn't understand. That it, why is he taking that? Does he think he's going to take that and turn it in and, and get the money himself? I guess. I mean, and I just don't know what what his he want, he he wants more McDonald's for himself or uh, or uh, a lim an unlimited supply of McDonald's. I I don't know. I uh, maybe he was planning on giving it back, and he was doing it to his mother. But Sophie, this I movie. I have no idea. It's so it just pisses me off that when he started making that plan of traps, I'm thinking, my God, this is not the same thing. He took their property, and it was a doll. It's not. This isn't about all this stuff. It's about a single doll, and uh, <laughs> uh, this thing about personal attack. Don't say anything about his weight. Please don't do that because Why? that's just a personal attack. But his attitude sucks, <laughs> and that's enough on its own. <laughs> on its own. He's, he's a spoiled brat. And I don't understand how it's going to turn out. That's why I'm like, well, it was probably... A... Well, it's like, just think about how retarded it is. You know, Disney is so retarded that their idea for making a Home Alone reboot is that they wanted to have a fat British kid steal people's personal property and then he's defending... Uh, he's defending against them taking it back. Yeah, I, I don't like, understand. Like, she tried to reason to with them too. That's really In a weird. nice voice. It's Kimmy Schmidt. It's uh, whatever her real did, name did is. Did she offer to take him and get a McFlurry? No, she didn't hear all that. It was the guy who heard it. Oh. She was in the other room. Well, maybe if she said she'd take him to go get two double McFlurries and he would have given it back. And been like, oh! Hey, ma'am, can we get some crumpets, too? They don't have that at British McDonald's. I've been, you know. Really? Like, no. But this but is... I'm telling you, it's just, it, it pisses me off. And it was so, uh, I'm like, oh, God, I have to listen to this. I can listen to resellers <laughs> who are making over $3,000 a month, which... You know, I'm like, God, I wish I could do that, but I can't list 120 things a day. I don't have the time, and I'm doing it all by myself. I can't even get it all processed. But I'd rather listen to that than listen to this with this kid who has stolen property that he took. <laughs> 
for no reason. Because I don't see the reason. I don't really, I didn't really see him <laughs> wanting to resell it and getting money for himself, frankly. I mean, that's the truth. I, I don't think he wants to do so, that. So he I think he was just doing to be a jackass. <laughs> so he did not eat the doll. That's confirmed. He did not eat the doll. I, actually, I don't know where the doll is. I, I don't know what he did with it. I think he knows he, that, it. he knows that they want it back. <laughs> he tried to get him arrested and everything. He's just... Uh, ah, what a little piece of shit. His mother's on the way home. She just... I mean, the problem is... I, I don't know if... I didn't see any trailer. They should make, like, a sequel where all the burglars from the past go to his house and, like, kill him or something. Well, anyway... <laughs> I don't, I don't know what the trailer showed, but the house they're going to, I don't know if it's his dad, his uncle, I have no idea who this is. Uh, it's, a, it's John Ritter's son, and he plays the guy. Did John and Ritter take him to Ritter's? Anyway, um, <laughs> that's his name, right? Uh, there's about a thousand kids there. And they're noisy, and they're screaming, and running around. So I can see why he didn't like that. But for him to take somebody's property that's worth two hundred thousand dollars was not the answer. And then he has to, and they, and he goes into the garage and sleeps in the car. That's why he was left there because he fell asleep and slept there all night long. Everybody, everybody including his mother, left. Because his mother, I guess she went on, I don't know why, and they're, they, the rest of them, which they had about 20 kids to be responsible for, uh, which were half of them screaming, they were all different ages, and so they forgot him. And so that's how he got left there. Well. But it's, it's still, so he would have gone then with his mother, taking the, staking the stolen property. It was, I think it was good he was left there because... What was he going to do? Take that two hundred thousand dollar doll with them to England or a uh, uh, Tokyo yeah. or wherever they were Tokyo. going. Tokyo. And uh, so, really, basically, it was probably a good thing because he had their property. He stole it. He. It was over <laughs> fifty fucking dollars. That's a fucking felony. Well, Safi, what would you rate it in terms of food? <laughs> This masterpiece of a probably film. spoiled shrimp. Spoiled shrimp that I've eaten and it, and it made me throw up really? and have diarrhea. Okay, <laughs> because uh, I mean it's the worst. I'm, and like, you know, all along these movies we've watched, I've uh, I never considered. I only heard about the third one, and I thought I'm never going to watch this because. I thought the first two, Cause they did an adequate job. They had the same people. And they, they don't they have Kevin really, in any of the other movies. Right, and they could have, and they and they really couldn't stretch it any further. I didn't think into any other sequel for, for those all those act, particular actors. And I hated the family anyway. And so then we watched the third one. It, this is really about a gifted kid getting a, a movie part. And uh, letting him, he was very articulate and sp really smart, I can tell. And the fourth one, see, the four, it's, it's going to be interesting is, because the yeah. kid the kid in the fourth one, you really wanted to punch him in the face. But, but it was okay. The do story you was punch, okay. This, this kid is uh, bad. Uh, He's the you, worst of all the kids. Uh, do you want to punch? He is the biggest, he has this nice, beautiful British accent. Which Americans love to listen to. Not in the Home Alone. But in this kid, no, I don't care. I do. But he's such a fucking jackass that you don't. It, it, it doesn't matter. You hate him, and so I he hated is, him. So you would want to punch him in the face over the one for Part Four. He, oh yeah, that kid in Part <laughs> Four. He's an angel. <laughs> Marco, he stole somebody else's property. Well, and he, so what? He's he wanted to eat. Try to kill these people. He wanted to eat. He needed to eat some more. <laughs> he wanted. But I don't understand. They had nothing to do with his mother. 
they didn't yeah, know these but people. At, when, when you're hungry and you're overweight, everyone takes the blame when you're starving. Oh, my God. <laughs> I guess I better check the soy sauce situation. You better tell me how many fillets. <laughs> Should I get out three fillets? He's not going to be happy about it. Okay, Safi, so what should people do? What are you doing? Well, see, it's funny because since you did that, I don't even have to watch the movie now. Well, I really would. I want. <laughs> I do want to hear about what happens at the end. No, I, w I will. I just didn't want to watch it because I'm not going to fool with this. I don't want to waste my time and I can't bear to listen to it or see it. I, I just. Don't you want to see those people, people get, get hurt? Don't you want to see them no. get critically injured? No, because, because they get trying to get back their own damn property. And I swore and swore and swore, Marco. I didn't know anybody. <laughs> but I'm sorry for swearing. I it's just a horrible movie. And I saw. I looked on. I don't even look at this stuff. I am. DB or whatever it well, is. Well, I went on there. There were tons of people that said they didn't want to watch the movie because they saw that the, the two quote-unquote criminals weren't bad. They're and not they, criminals! And they, were, and they were innocent and they didn't like the kid and everything. People already said that. and and But there were some people who liked it. I don't know how anybody could like that. Because those people were, they wanted their property back. They should just not have gone about it in that way and I, I don't know why they were just because they were they didn't want to sell their house and they weren't thinking properly I don't know what and I, I don't know why they would do that it was just stupid but they're not bad people at all nothing they've never done anything wrong and it was their property and that kid took it and if he had gone with his family <coughs> somehow the property wouldn't even be there. It would be away out of the country. Yeah, I'm sure if someone stole the kid's french fries, he wouldn't be very happy no, either. No, I don't. I'm not doing personal attacks. He had a terrible attitude, and he was spoiled, and he was a jerk. So is this the worst movie of the year, Safi, 2021? Is it worse than everything you might say? Because it sounds like it, if it makes it's you angry. It's pretty bad. Well, I just it shouldn't have been made. If they if that's what they come up with, and then they try to employ all these same traps, and yes, so they're copying traps. Elaborate, they're copying traps. Well, it's really hard to copy exactly, except for the shower thing. That that wasn't even copied exactly, because they have different. It's it's just like when they're calling the. The, the mom and whoever the man is, I have no idea, uh, are calling back home. Nobody has landlines anymore. Everybody has cell phones. And so you can't just call and leave messages. It's just, it's just, it's different than when it was when people had answering machines. And uh, because it's different, you're a different technology and it changes things. So you can't have things exactly the is way this, they were. Is this worse than the Fear Street movie, Safi? Because <sighs> I would take... Uh, no, I don't like any of them. I, I, would, just, I, would, just... I would take this movie over a lesbian agenda movie. So I, I can't take the kids. Because I don't like agendas. So I, don't yeah, I know really... you don't like agendas, but I, I at least... I didn't think the people were cringeworthy. Because when people... I don't really do cringeworthy. I'm actually more accepting... I watch that movie with the woman's naked all the time, and so you know that would really. Well, you like that one. Well, I don't. I didn't know the. I didn't understand the value of her getting naked all the time. Because she had to. It's a French movie. Well, no, she didn't. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Yeah. And uh, I and I couldn't. And I'm. But I'm like I, whatever. I I'm not. I'm more accepting of that than having a child who's a spoiled brat steal somebody's property. And take it out of their house for what reason? But see, the thing is, Safi, is that I, I don't understand. I still can't everyone really think, think about it. I, I just it makes me ill. Everyone saw the trailer and said, you know, we're not watching this bullshit. Well, see, I didn't watch any real extended well, trailer. Well, so I pay the, attention. The, I don't the like point it. is, the point is, is that a lot of people aren't even going to watch this fucking movie, but. Well, on the other I mean, hand, I don't blame them. at least they, they're not going to be. Uh, on the other their ears hand, ears aren't going to hurt for the rest of the day. On the other hand, they are going to be watching 
other movies like Fear Street 1, 2, and 3. Well, I suppose so. So that's why I think this movie is probably better, even though I haven't watched it yet. No. Because you watched this vid- you, you, you watched this wait. movie days early. Well, you just wait. <laughs> Uh, because it's uh, uh, I can't take it, and I won't. I, if you just tell me what happens at the end, if I could get onto it and watch it at the point. Or you think just, he go? You think he gets to go to McDonald's at the end? I don't give a damn whether he goes to McDonald's. I think he should get in trouble. Yeah. Uh, and I, and he also, he's trashed the house. Oh. He sawed into the staircase. Uh, well, on he's, the he's railing, defending his property. His property. Yeah. He's not defending his property. That is he what he stole. And she, they said that to him. They said, "Look, that's you stole our property." And he said, "And he's yeah, like, he just, <laughs> yeah, yeah." That basically so is. Like, and uh, does he and shoot like, them with Twinkies? Does he have a little Twinkie no, gun? Because of no. his his endless Twinkie and reserves. And another thing he. He went, he visited the church. Remember, Kevin went to church. Well, he this kid there. goes to church and he eats all the wafers from the communion. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, <laughs> I, they have a, ch- a toy drive, and so they have all these. You know, this is a wealthy area. I'm familiar with and he's, it. Did and he they, put the so doll they have these in beautiful there? Beautiful new toll. No, he did not bring the doll there. He was there to take. Again. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh. Right? And I hate to tell you that I just can't stand. That's why I mean I can't. I don't know if I I can even take watching any more of this because I just it it was a blessing maybe. Well, it sounds good, like in a good bad way, like. Yeah, but he's if he does not get in trouble and they do, I really, I may write letters of complaint because I mean I just really. That is not right. <laughs> and he tore, I mean, he, they have a beautiful wooden staircase. And not he, anymore. <laughs> he sawed into it. And, I mean, the damage that he's doing to the house. And so, he, I guess, if, if they were coming, if these were real thieves coming to the house and they were wanting to steal everything, I can understand. And probably they would understand, too. But he has somebody else's property that he thinks he's going to keep. And he was trying to take a toy from the toy drive. And he did. Another kid came up, and he misunderstood what he was saying about being alone. They thought his parents were dead. They got killed or something like that. And so they let him have this big gun thing with a uh, plastic oh, uh, big shell thing. Safi. I'm sure people know God. what the toy is. I don't know. All I know about is Nerf. I know Nerf stuff's really, still really popular. See resellers uh, getting, that, getting that stuff at garage sales. Would and, you shoot this kid in the head with a Nerf gun? Oh, Marco. You know, it's not about that. It's about him being held accountable for stealing. Okay, well, and if he gets away, can't steal what is yours. It's not so. his. It was not his. Yeah, it is his now because and he, he took, holds and also, it. Also, uh, under he ate it. false pretenses, he takes a toy that was de- de- donated to children who don't are less fortunate than him. It's very reminiscent of the second one where Kevin steals the toys from all the sick children at the hospital. What? Remember. Well, that's what they did in the second one. Remember, he's... De- oh, no, wait, no. In the second one, he helps all the children who are sick at the hospital with their toys. Remember, he makes a donation and everything. But I guess in this one now, we've we've go- we've gone past that, and he has to take the toys now for himself. Because he needs them. He doesn't need him. Yeah. He's spoiled. I mean... He's a brat. They could have given him a toy from a Happy Meal. I, you know, it's getting late. I've had things to do. I have to do well, make rice pudding. What you, are you doing? You wanted to ta- share your love of this movie on Christmas Eve. I have to clear off the table. Do you not understand I have stuff to do? Well, you wanted to share your love for okay, Home Okay, well, Alone. that's it. It's over.
It's over. I'm not. I'm done now. Okay. What should people do, Safi? <laughs> I guess if you like this, but I'm sorry, but I just really, this movie's horrible. And really, don't even waste your time. Just think about all the kids yeah, watching I just this movie. Know, I just want him to get in trouble. If he doesn't get in trouble, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because uh, <laughs> he's a spoiled brat. He did something wrong. Then he trashed the house. No, do you know what's going to happen? What he could have done is just, he knew they were there. He knew they want what they wanted. And he should have just gotten it and given it to them and sent them on their way. No, he should have bargained with them and, and, and there should have been a McDonald's deal. Well, let's say they did that. Okay, and I that don't know what the purpose fine. of that was. Because he was hungry. Were they rewarding him for a stealing? Yeah, he's hungry. I mean, that's why they're there. They want their object back. It's not his. Remember Chuck from the Goonies? He was hungry, too. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember him stealing anything. He did steal all the ice cream in that place. He stole gallons and gallons of ice cream with the dead okay, body I need in to there. finish getting dressed. Oh, okay. So, well, that's, that, well, you should clarify. You are kind. Of, you are dressed. I'm dressed. I want to change you're not, my clothes. You're, you're not sitting around naked, ranting about home alone. No. <laughs> okay, everybody. Goodbye. Bye.